If you want to ball out and have the biggest truck on the block, there's only one way to go. And if you want to impress all of your followers on the gram, there's only one type of truck you can own. And if you want to replace six tires rather than four and buy six wheels instead of four and have a very limited selection for lift kits, unless you go completely custom, well, then you need a dually. So if they're more expensive, they ride rougher, and they cost more to modify, what's the hype of the dually trucks? <laughs> So obviously there's lots of practical reasons to own a dually truck. The whole point of having four rear wheels instead of two is for the increased payload and towing capacity, plus the extra width gives you lots of stability when towing large loads. For example, a heavy duty single rear wheel uh, truck can tow say like 18,000 pounds, but the dually equivalent of that with a diesel engine is capable of hauling over 30,000 pounds and has a payload capacity of over 5,200 pounds. These trucks are just plain massive. If you're gonna get a dually, you have to get a long bed first off, so then you opt for the crew cab, and you've got a truck that's 96 inches wide and has 170 or more inch wheelbase, and that means it's over 22 feet long. And now it shouldn't really be a surprise that people are taking these purpose-built trucks, buying them, and then modifying them so they can't really perform like they were intended. I mean, it just kind of fits with the whole mall crawler narrative. The biggest and most badass dualies out there are rocking 24, 26, or 28 inch forged wheels, rubber band tires, and huge lift kits, and all of that pretty much means that you can't tow with it anymore, at least not 30,000 pounds. Here's the other thing about dualies. Everyone thinks that they're so cool and they should buy one and companies need to make more wheels for them and lift kits and all that, but they make up a very, very small percentage of trucks on the road and most of them stay stock and get used as work trucks. Aww. Now, for the folks that do build them up a bit, the most common thing I see is just a leveling kit to fit some nicer looking wheels and tires on it. But for the handful of guys who do want something more, you can still find a few four and six inch kits out there, but they're kind of few and far between. Now, wheels is a whole nother adventure. You can run six wheels and have three different offsets for each pair. You could run dually wheels in the back and just run a regular like 12 wide wheel up front if you pull off the stock spacer. But sometimes that spacer and the actual hub have a different bolt pattern, or you could run a regular dually wheel up front and a massive super single out back. It's confusing, even for guys who are otherwise experts on your standard wheels. So if dualies are so confusing to build, they lose their intended function when you do that, what is the hype with dually trucks? I really feel like it just comes down to the way they look and commanding attention on the road with the biggest vehicles out there. Let us know down in the comments below what you think about these massive dually trucks. And if you've got one, we and other dually owners out there would love if you shared some photos and specs with us and uploaded your rig to the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash ads.